Lagos State Police Commissioner Biodo Alabi has clarified that residents who operate motorcycles for career services or other private dealings will not be affected by the latest Okada ban. The latest ban on Okadas in the state comes after a sound engineer, David Imo, was allegedly lynched to death by motorcycle riders in the Lekki area of the state over a fair dispute. Police Commissioner stressed that the enforcement of the ban this time will be more thorough as most Okada riders are criminals and must be taken off the road. We're now being joined in the studio by Olabo Diogeni, the councillor Ward F1, and also doubles as the deputy council leader, Lagos Island East LCD. Thank you for joining us on the news this night. Good evening and thanks for having me. Yeah, um, this is not the first time the government is actually banning commercial motorcycles on the highway, okay. but uh, it seems the enforcement is not successful. What's the local government doing to ensure that this ban is implemented? Well, as a government, as a local government, which is the closest government to the people, what we are going to do or what we have been doing is to um, enlighten our people, to make them see reasons, because um, the government is there to make laws. And then there is no government that will sit back and watch its state or local government being turned to a lawless territory. So the government has made the law and then um, the people are bound to obey the law. So we as a government closest to the people have been enlightening our people, letting them see reason why they have to respect the law because okay. the law must be enforced. Mm. Now the recent damage to the Eco Bridge exposed some market problems in Lagos. How are laws enforced on street trading in Lagos State? Well, there are laws banning street trading in Lagos. Okay. Um, at the state level, we have what we call the Central Business Street Tax Force, the mm -hmm. CBD Tax Force. Mm -hmm. And as a government that I represent, that I serve in, in Lagos Island East LCDA, which Eco Bridge falls under our jurisdiction as well, mm -hmm. because we have two councils in Lagos Island. We have the Lagos Island Local Government and the Lagos Island East LCDA. Um, we have a law banning street trading, complete ban on street trading within but you know, people don't really like to obey the law. Mm. And that is why the government are there. And then we have created, uh, we have set up the, in our local government, we have the Environmental Sanitation Corps. So their job basically is to go across all the wards, all the streets and markets and ensure they work in collaboration with the CBD okay. and other law enforcement agents. Okay, so what, what are these laws that are being enforced on street trading? Um, there's a total ban on street trading, okay. but you know you cannot ban, and it, at times it can be difficult when you ban people from trading and you are not providing alternatives for them to sell, because naturally people want to survive. They want to look for a way to sell their wares and survive. And um, in Lagos, uh, we have it on record, based on statistics, okay. that over 10,000 people come into Lagos every day with the sole aim of living in Lagos. Mm. So you can imagine the influx of people, coupled with the recent... Um, security unrest in the, in the southeast south yes. part of the country. So what we are doing is to develop more markets. Mm. And you know, Lagos Island local government, as it is, does not really have much space for markets. But still, the government is working, particularly at the local government level, to develop markets within the local government. And these are markets that can be affordable, not priced too high for people affordable markets for people. As I speak to you now, there is a project going on on Simpson Street in Lagos Island. Okay. Some blocks of shops have been developed. And when they finish from there, the executive chairman is going to develop another market at um, Olowu Sura Axis. So these are alternatives that we are providing so that we can get people out of the streets so that they can have somewhere to trade. All right, thank you very much. I need us to focus more on youth restiveness, especially in inner cities of Lagos. What's the, the government doing to get rid of street orchards in these areas? Um, like we all know, and there's no denying the fact that that has been a recurrent issue in Lagos Island. Okay. And the government has been doing its best. Every government that has come has been doing its best. And this government that is in place now that came into power July 2021, mm. has been doing its best also to ensure that um, the menace of uh, youth restiveness in Lagos Island is eradicated. Okay. You know, it is not always easy. It, is, it, it won't be easy to be, for it to be totally eradicated. But at least 
it will be brought to the barest minimum, their activities. Okay. So we have a skill, Lagos Island East LCDA Skill Acquisition Center, okay. which is being upgraded. Uh, as I speak to you uh, about two months ago, some equipment were brought into the uh, Skill Acquisition Center. Over 100 industrial sewing machine was bought and brought in there by the executive chairman of Lagos Island East LCDA, Honorable Muibi Aledifolawio. And then some other equipment too were brought in we have um, different sections there. We have fashion designing, we have soap making, we have um, um, barbing, we have um, tailoring, we have um, uh, R&D engineering there. So we are trying to remove those, um, those guys from the streets. We mm -hmm. are trying to bring them to, you know, the, 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 it is very important that we give them what can keep them busy. Mm. So hence the need um, for us to make sure that we train them. Okay. Yes. So I need to ask, um, these uh, motorcycles that are being banned, won't it affect um, state revenue in um, a way? Um, um, state governments. Okay. You know, I'm a lawmaker at the local government level, and I'm very privy to the um, making of our budgets. Okay. This, and, I'm, and, I'm, uh, and it is, I, I can tell you categorically, that the state government and the local government, no government collects any revenue from Okada riders because there's a ban on the activities. Mm. The first law was made in 2012 by the administration of Governor Bajire Fashola. Yeah. And then it was, the, that, that law was reviewed in 2018 by the administration of um, Governor um, Akiyomi Ambodi. You understand? So there is a total ban on the activities across all the 492 routes, major routes in Lagos. So there's no way the government is going to affect the revenue of the government because in the first place, the government is not even collecting revenue from them. Okay. If you see anybody collecting revenue from Okada riders in Lagos, they are just doing that illegally. There is nobody today in Lagos, no government, either at the state level or at the local government level that is collecting any revenue from Okada All right. riders. Uh, so finally, what, what then do you think is the solution? Because it has resulted in violence in the state, correct? Well, and people are always, um, people are always, you know, want to resist enforcement of the law whenever a new law is being introduced. Okay. But that is where the uh, security comes in. That is the security operatives. Mm -hmm. That is where the activities comes in. Okay. Once the security are, the security operatives are resolute that they must enforce the law, then that law will stand. We have seen it work. It worked before during the administration of Governor Babajide Fashola. So it, is, it all lies in the hands of our security operatives. Okay. As a government, as a democratic government, we can only make laws. We cannot go to enforce. So when we make laws, we now pass it over to the security operatives. So it is not left for the security operatives. Because even some of those security operatives themselves too, they have bikes that they use for commercial purposes. So whenever they are determined that they want to make the law work, of course it will work and nobody can stop the government. All because right. the government is greater than any individual. Thank you very much for joining us on the news tonight. Thank you very much for having me. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.